I wrote two scripts here. The one on the left, I'm using three if statements, and the one on the right is quite similar, except I, except I implemented it using if else if statements. So let's check them out and see if we can figure out the difference here. So on the left, I made a variable called number, I set it equal to 200, and then I'm saying if the number is greater than 1,000, say bigger than 1,000. If it's bigger than 100, say bigger than 100. If it's bigger than 10, say bigger than 10. So I'm gonna run this, and I hope you have a sense of what it might say as the output. So I'm gonna run it and look on the right there and see what it says. Bigger than 100, bigger than 10, and that's it. Well, why did it say two things? Well, it said two things because two of these if statements were true, right? It was bigger than 100, so it said this. It was bigger than 10, so it said this. So each of these if statements ran if they were true, right? This first one was not true, so it did not do the say part, but the second two were true, so it said both of these things. Over on the right, I implemented this using if else if statements. If else if, yeah, okay. And I'll run this, so the number again is 200. It says, very similar, if it's greater than 1,000, say bigger than 1,000. If it's bigger than 100, say bigger than 100. If it's bigger than 10, say bigger than 10. And I'll run it, and it says, bigger than 100, and that's it. When you implement something using if else if statements, as soon as one of the if conditions is true, it doesn't even look in the else part. Right, so here my, my number is 200. Was it bigger than 1,000? No, so it did do the else, right? This else happened because the if part was not true. If this was true, it would do this and it wouldn't even continue. But it was not true, so it did the else part. I hope this is making sense to you. Else, if the number is greater than 100, it said bigger than 100, which it, which it was. Else, but since this part was true, it didn't even look in the else part. So which of these pieces of code is correct? Well. It kind of depends on what you're trying to do, but I hope it's clear that they're doing two slightly different things. And I'm going to I'm going to go over one more example. So just hang in there for a moment. All right, let's check out one more example. Again, I wrote two scripts, and they're kind of similar. Again, I'm using if else if statements. So here on the left, I'm setting a number to 10. I'm saying if it's greater than 10, it'll say bigger than 10. Else, if it's less than 10, it will say less than 10. Else it will say equal to 10, right? Because if it's not bigger than 10 or less than 10, it must be equal to 10. So let's test this first one out and see if it works. So I set a number to 10, it should say equals 10. And it says equals 10, hey, <laughs> it worked. Let me set this to something else. Oh my God, I ran it again. All right, let me set it to 15. Now, of course, it should say bigger than 10, and that's it. And let's see if it does, and it says bigger than 10, and that's it. Again, the way else is work is this else is only going to happen if this if part is false. So the number was bigger than 10, it said bigger than 10. Else, well, it's not going to do the else because the if part was true. I really hope that makes sense to you. Over here on the right, well, let's test this out. So it's similar, except here I have two separate if statements. Now, the reason I did this is because this is a mistake that sometimes students make. They don't they don't properly nest their if elses inside of the else. And I hope this will make sense. All right, so let's run this. It says set number to 10. If it's greater than 10, say bigger than 10. If it's less than 10, say less. Else say equals 10. So if I run it and the number is 10, it says equals 10. Okay, so that worked. Let's try it if the number is 15. Do you think you know what it's gonna say? Well, I'm gonna run it and we'll find out. It says bigger than 10 equals 10. Well, that's not right. Well, the reason that that happened is because I wrote this as a separate if statement. So in other words, this first part was true. 15 is bigger than 10, so it said bigger than 10. Then it looked at this next if statement. See, I did not put this inside of an else. This is a separate if statement. So it then said, is the number less than 10? No, it was not less than 10, it was 15. So it did the else part. It said equals 10. So in this case, the second one is clearly not written correctly. So just be careful when you're nesting. It's, this is what it's called when you put if elses inside of elses. You're kind of putting one statement inside of another. That's called nesting statements. So I think the best way to 
think about these things or the best way to get used to them is to really just play around with them, right? That's what's so great about this language. You can write a bunch of different test cases, make up your own if else's, run it, see how they run, figure out how they work, and you should be good to go. It's all just logic. All right, thanks for watching and get to work.